It is time now for the business news with Nona Peltier. Nona, wow, this was a big day. So how did the markets react to what was going on? Well, not very well, to be honest. Uh, we had a... The market, the NZX Top 50 Index, dropped more than 10% at one point earlier today and uh, finished down 7.6%. Now, that is still uh, the lowest level we've been for about two years, and it was certainly the biggest drop we've had since uh, 1987. Uh, We did have a bigger drop in 1987, but the market was different then. It had a different composition. And then at that point, it had dropped 15%. So we didn't get that far down. But look, it's not a good it's not a good look at all we saw some dreadful um, uh, implications here for some companies like tourism holdings has been hit really hard and today it was knocked down again 46 percent now keep in mind this is a just com- today 46. just today now this company it uh, last year its share price was uh, just over five dollars today it's 55 cents now consider that this particular company's assets these are its net tangible assets so that's its you know its fleet of camper vans and, mm-hmm. and so on that value the net tangible asset there per share is worth a dollar 83 so it's trading at 55 cents not that's that's quite inconceivable almost and, and in fact but for the fact it is actually yeah it's actually happening and the thing is you know it does mean that uh some of these companies when they recover and and presumably they will uh they're going to have to at some point, perhaps write down the real assets of their va- uh, the value of their assets and their companies, and so it's the the the, the depth of this particular, uh, I guess, recession is is going to be very deep and lasting. From all accounts, it could last a long time. So four weeks at home probably is a drop in the bucket compared with what we're going to be facing over the next uh, few months. I see um, you've got a list there, Nona, of some of the businesses. Is that some of their dips today? Yeah, or? that's just today. So uh, just uh, Air New Zealand, we've been talking about them. Yeah. They were down 7.4%, not too bad. Abano Healthcare dropped 30%. Now, they were just in the process of finalising a takeover offer, and that now looks like it's on the rocks because the uh, company can't can't function. It can't offer dental services at the moment. So that puts a question mark over whether that takeover will go ahead at the price that it was uh, set at. Uh, Sky TV, 28% down. And then there's the big companies. 7.4% down for Auckland Airport. Contact, 94 Fletcher Building, 113 uh, Meridian, Main Freight, and so on. Ryman Healthcare down 21%, which is a, a big drop for that company. Sky City down 14.5%. Yeah. Let's pause on Sky City for a second because we were speaking to Sky, or the days all merged, but I think it was last week when they yeah. said they were preparing for the potential complete shutdown. What do we know about... Um, well, so this morning, they, they have hotels as well. Yeah, they do. So this morning they closed down, they announced that they were going to be closing down their Adelaide uh, casino that's in Adelaide, Australia, that was going to happen this afternoon. This afternoon, they came out and they said they're going to be closing after the announcement from the government here. They'd be closing all their casinos here. Now, they have hotels. The hotels are staying open because they have guests in them. And they're awaiting some direction from the New Zealand government as to what happens next. Yeah. So for now, of course, they're open. They have guests. They're going to serve those people. And then when those guests move on, there's a question mark. So there are a lot of questions that businesses will be asking. You know, it was interesting just before you were talking about Briscoe Group and uh, the you know the, the rush on appliances. Yeah, but to at the make same time, they've just suspended their final dividend, and there's a question mark over that because they have to close their non-essential service. What does that really mean? Will people be able to buy online and shop as they normally do? Mm, not too sure, actually. So there's a number of questions we'll be having to ask. Uh, not enough time today to do it all, but yeah. there's a lot out there. Um, uh, interestingly, one of the ones that popped up at the very close, we got a notice from Fisher and Pikel Healthcare. They're the folks that make the respiratory uh, of equipment. Course, yes. And they've been deemed an essential service, uh, much like our RNZ, I guess. And not just them, but the manufacturers that uh, put into their products. So we're going to continue to, they're going to continue to manufacture. And are those, those are made here in New Zealand? Are uh, they, those no, pieces of they do no. their research and development here, though. So they have a, num- they have a very big campus down in uh, uh, Auckland, and they're going to continue to operate there. They have a plant in Mexico as well, where there are a lot of their manufacturing is done. They do do some manufacturing here as well. Now, interestingly, um, 
they put out their notice, I'm looking at the time, at 4.56 p.m., just before the market closed. So we were looking down about 8.5%, and then boom, uh, this came out, and we ended Saying up... that they were in a central yeah, service, and so they we came down, to yeah. operate. So they were down, like, just slightly, finished up 2.5%, just like the... Uh, 2.5%, no, 2.25%, and a quarter per- 2 and a quarter percent, just like that on that one particular announcement. So the market certainly was looking for some good news. Any kind of good news, they certainly are looking for it. So we ended up uh, finishing down 7.6%, which is a long way better than uh, more than 10. Uh, we finished um, down 698 points to 8,499. So that's where we were a couple of years ago. Now, interestingly, the Kiwi uh, is really taking quite a battering. And that's partly because we've had some quantitative easing, which we may have heard of earlier about the uh, Reserve Bank. billion dollars worth. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So that's put uh, more more dollars in the system. So, of course, that has an effect on the value. If you got more of them, they may not be worth quite as much, right? So we are trading at 56.4 U.S. cents. Now, I looked back. We haven't been at that level since, mm, I think it was 2009, from what I could tell. 98.1 Australian, so mm-hmm. we're still holding pretty firm there. And 48.4 British pence, again, fairly steady. Uh, so that was uh, really... All I can tell you about the markets, and we're going to have a lot more to say, I'm sure, tomorrow. Yep, plenty of detail in there. Thank you, Nona. Nona Peltier with our business update.